Hey everybody, uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've made a video. I've basically been busy trying to acquire everything needed to be able to germinate my own seeds. Um, as you can see behind me, I've got quite the setup going on. I've basically got tired of spending three to four dollars on juvenile plants at various places like nurseries, Home Depot, or Tractor Supply. I wanted to try to get more cost efficient and uh, keep the cost down to where I could spend money in different places and keep the hobby as uh, cheap as possible. Basically, I bought two of these lights last year and had some mild success with uh, some smaller domes and um, got a good amount of production from uh, starting seeds and uh, getting them to actually transplant. So this year I wanted to do it on a much larger scale and uh, see what success I have uh, this year and see if um, this investment is going to uh, get me through a couple seasons and uh, be worth the time and the money. Um, so having two lights, I basically just bought two more this year, expanded on the lights, and noticed that I was going to have four cords running across the ceiling, which was going to be a huge eyesore. Um, so I basically went into my shed and I found I had some scrap plywood. Um, pretty simply just made this box and mounted a surge protector in the middle to be able to take all four of these cords. That way I would only have one cord off of this end, um, which the surge protector has a 15 foot cord, which I really like it. I have one upstairs where um, my entertainment center is which there wasn't an outlet close enough and it allowed plenty of room to be able to uh, plug in. Uh, definitely didn't want all those cords all over the place looking like a mess so building the box was my first step and getting that surge protector um, plugged in the middle. The one trick that I did use that I thought was really neat, um, I took the surge protector and went to my printer which has a copier and placed the uh, surge protector on the copier uh, scanning it and uh, printing it out giving me uh, the lineup for the holes which I screwed the paper down to the uh, the board in the middle and it gave me uh, perfect uh, markings to where I wouldn't have to use a tape measure or anything uh, I will definitely be using that trick again I can't remember where I picked it up but um, definitely a cool little trick um, rather than fumbling around with a tape measure and trying to get them perfectly lined up the only thing I had to do was deal with the depth so that uh, when putting the surge protector on it gave you a good solid like uh, snug fit uh, but then Basically getting the bottom plate uh, screwed on, the cords were ran through, and uh, mounting all these lights and plugging them in uh, was a huge step in actually getting to this point. Um, about a week ago, I harvested um, a good amount of my compost out of my tumbler and bought uh organic potting soil which i mixed them about 50 50 and noticed that there was still some large debris even after like getting uh my sifter for my compost uh i went it's probably they probably about a half inch uh holes like to drop uh any uh good compost into the wheelbarrow I noticed that uh, there was still some large debris even with the organic uh, potting soil so I went down to the quarter inch sifter that I made and used that uh, to sift over top of uh, the starter cells. That way um, these plants aren't really fighting through any kind of large debris. 
Um, it was it turned out really fine. Um, something that they could uh, get their roots started into really easily. I'm hoping for a good amount of success with uh, seeing things start breaking through the ground. And it was about a week ago, and I'm already starting to see a good amount of plants coming up, which uh, I'm getting really excited about. Um, within the next couple of weeks, we should uh, be all clear of our last frost, and I could start moving outside and getting uh, my raised beds all ready uh, to start transplanting out. And um, basically, I have eight trays and 72 cells per tray, which is, uh, I think, 576. So I'll have 576 plants by the time I'm done, which I'll have way more than I'll ever need, and I'll probably be giving them away just to, like, you know, <laughs> people that do like to garden. And um, it was quite the process. Like, that night, I sifted all of the dirt out, put them into uh, the trays, and then... Uh, basically started making pockets for the seeds to start going into so I did that 576 times over and basically put these put the seeds in the soil and uh, sprayed the top uh, to make sure that that was nice and uh, moist to where it would start the germination process and the next thing I had to do was fill the bottom of the trays with water up to the level so that it wasn't flooding the bottom, which uh, creates a good amount of evaporation. And as you can see behind me, these are pretty fogged up to where it's starting that greenhouse effect and these plants are gonna really thrive if uh, I make sure to keep on uh, the water levels and make sure that uh, they won't burn up because the heating pads I have on about 70 degrees which is good for some plants need hotter some plants like uh, need cooler your lettuces like cooler weather your tomatoes are tropical so they like they like the heat um, so it's it's getting to know what plants I should have on which heating pad I could set two different temperatures which makes it really nice and uh, I can be really uh, versatile in what I'm growing. But um, to give you a quick look, I have a good amount of plants coming up. I'm really happy about that. Um, so I hope to see a good amount of success for this uh, summer with how much I'm producing and pulling out of the garden. And I'll be doing more videos on how I'm transplanting and things that I do to get ready for the transplanting and stuff like that. Uh, as for now, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Um, we'll be back uh, right at about the time with this project to show uh, moving outside and uh, getting them transplanted into their new home. But uh, if you like this video, please like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Um, I'm basically working on everything, at, like my projects, my hobbies. Like there will be tons more videos. Um, join the conversation, comment. Uh, I'd like to hear, especially like if you see anything I'm doing wrong, like let me know. Uh, maybe it'll save me some money in the long run, but uh, I appreciate everything. Um, comment, like, subscribe. I'll be back. Thank you.